We're with Margate manager Steve Watt after his side's 1-0 victory at home to Dulwich Hamlet. Uh, Steve, tight and tense game, but a goal five minutes from the end from Kane Haysman securing the three points. Uh, he must be delighted to see him. Yeah, look, I thought, I thought the boys again just said that's been a really tough week. I mean, they were off Tuesday night as well. They didn't have a game, they're friendly, but it was mainly, I spoke to Coyle at well, and it was mainly um, not all the first team players playing. So they, they've, they've had a week off to prepare, obviously, with the game. Um, on Tuesday, so look, the effort the guys put in again today was outstanding. And we'd, we'd had him watch, me and Bernie went to watch ourselves and went to Tunbridge, so we'd done our homework on him. We, we did went through things on Thursday night, and um, I was just delighted that the boys covered out the game plan perfectly. And it was always going to be a tight game today for me. I know they score a lot of goals, or they have done, but like, we've got a threat as well, and I think they were wary of that. Um, so I thought it was going to be a tight game and maybe it only be a goal between um, between the sides and look, just thankful we popped up with it. It was a great time to score as well. And you said at the beginning of the month it was a it was a tough month for Margate, sort of ten games in it. You've played the first four, three of uh, three of them games have been against the team's top three of the division. You've got seven points from it. You're very happy with that return. Yeah, apparently it's a, it's a great return. Um, you go back to folks in a game where we defended set pieces better. We would have, we would have, wouldn't have lost that game either. And I think then from that game onwards, I think you've seen what we are as a team, or how we are, how we've got to where we've got to, and, and we've gone on the runs we have. Because the last three games, I think we've been fantastic. We're unlucky not to have nine um, after the Billericay game last week. But if you said to me before that, we'd have had seven points in the next out of the next nine. I would have, I would have taken that. So we've got to be positive again. That I mean, you're looking at them. Saying, if you're saying what ifs, you know, like you've got Sess here today, Millsy, Flish, obviously Lenny, Jay May, you're missing all these players and we're still going toe to toe, which is a credit to the boys. A credit to the boys of, of their work rate and their application, their desire not to lose game. So we have a, we speak to the boys over the weekend, see how the guys are, and then we go get another tough game on Tuesday night because they're flying at the minute later, right? You just mentioned Leverhead there, they've won again today, they're unbeaten in nine games themselves, uh, they're on 44 points like ourselves, so uh, what sort of game will it be here at Hartstown Park Tuesday night? I think very similar, you know, when we put it there, play it's very tight, um, but look, we won't run out the winners that night and should have been more comfortable in two, could have had a lot more, three or four, so look, we've just got to come out here, we'll, we'll do our own work, we'll have a chat over the weekend, me and Brownie and Mike, and um, we'll put a side out again tonight, on uh, Tuesday night, to, to try and go win again. It is as simple as that. We're at home, we want to win games of football. But I think they're another tight affair. These top tables, and I said it before the last the Billericay game, they, they take care of themselves when you're playing against the top sides in the league. They always take care. P players get up for it more. Um, that's no disrespect to another team. It, it's just it's natural. The big games players perform well in. I think our record against top sides in our league is very, very good. I think we've only lost one against the, the, the sides above us. Um, which is very good, but we need to find that level of consistency throughout the season. As I said, we went 10 games unbeat, whatever it was, lost three, then went 14, lost three. Like So, over the course of the season, it's been it's been good. It's been some straight in times in it. We should have more points, but today is an example of what the players can't do. It's top of the league on last week, but we can match and we can beat um, anyone in this division. That's brilliant. Thanks for your time today, Steve. Well done. Okay.